Speaking of TV, did you watch the Tinder Swindler? No. You, oh. What? Have the- you seen the Tinder Swindler, George? Oh, it's insane. Okay, you have to watch this documentary. So it's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. What Worth watching. There was this guy who essentially ran a Ponzi scheme of dating on Tinder. So he starts off, right? He has all these different names, but his main one he goes by is Simon. Mm. He starts off, goes out with his girl, okay. takes on a couple dates, really love bombs her. Like, I feel this connection, we're special. Like I love, you know, all this kind of stuff, really like toxic behavior. But of course she's like, oh my gosh, I found my soulmate. Then he starts saying stuff. Uh, he starts dropping in things about how he's like, his family's in danger because they I believe it was like they work in diamonds and he talks oh, wow. constantly about like his enemies being after him. He's like, I have enemies that are after me. Like I, I have enemies, right? I need, I like, I'm in trouble. I need you to send me like $2,000. My enemies are coming after me. Right. So then this girl's like, okay, like send him $2,000. Right. Mm-hmm. Or like a couple of girls. And then he'll take that $2,000. He'll go to another girl and he'll use that $2,000 to pretend he's wealthy. And he'll take her out a couple of days and he'll like, splash the cash right so he'll like take her to a nice hotel for coffee he'll like buy her a nice handbag he'll have a limo pick them up right so she thinks this guy's loaded and then he'll start saying stuff to her like hey listen like again my family works in diamonds but i have enemies after me i have enemies after me like i need your help i can't i have all this money like you've seen i've been spending money on you but i can't use my credit cards right now because my enemies are tracking my credit cards i need you to open a credit card in your name that i can use for business right who falls for this shit this girl then opens a credit, for a credit card in the name. Um, and then he goes to the next girl and is like, yeah, wow. like I'm gonna take you to Ibiza. I'm gonna like put everything on this girl's credit card. Meanwhile, to send the other girl, oh, this is like business things. I'm trying to like, you know, wine and dine people in business. That's why I'm spending this money. I'll pay you back. Look at all this money I have. He shows her like fake bank accounts and stuff. Like I have money, I'll pay you back. Don't worry. Like, I love you. Like we're in this together. You know, we'll start looking for apartments. Sends her to look at apartments that are millions and millions of dollars. So she really thinks. Like, oh, this guy does have money. I'm just helping like the love of my life right now. Meanwhile, he's spending her money on a different girl in Ibiza. Like, so he's he's doing a Ponzi scheme with dating. Wow, that's crazy. And these these girls then, um, you know, they've been swindled out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's so sad to watch this documentary. And these girls are like, I don't have that money. Like I was taking out loans for this guy. He would like convince me to take out loans. You know, he would like do all this stuff. He would convince me. I was trying to be that. I thought I was being a supportive girlfriend. One of them is just a friend. One of them is just a friend. Like they had a friendship for like a year and then he started asking her for money. See, that makes more sense to me. If it's going on for a year, yeah, that's different. But if anyone on Tinder under any circumstance, well, they date, he like, lo- like they would have like a, like a real like hot and heavy romance for a couple weeks. Or like even a month sometimes before he starts asking for money. Like he would like wine yeah. and dine them, show money, God, pretend that's he has so money. Crazy. Take him on like private jets. Is he like insanely attractive or something? Not that attractive, but he's very suave. But the thing that hit me through all of this was how fucking organized do you have to be to run all this stuff? Like I can't keep track of everyone's names. Seems like a lot of work. But apparently what he was doing, these girls finally got in touch with each other and realized what was going on and realized he'd been sending the same messages Wow. Like he was just recycling his his tools that he knew worked. Wow. Like they had a video of him, like he'd be in a private jet and he'd be like, oh, Sarah, like I love you so much. I'll see you when I, when I land in Miami, kisses. And then he'd send that to her. And then to another girl, like in the same seat, he would just pick up his phone again and be like, oh, Mia, I love you so much. I'll see you when I land in Miami. And like, just send that video to the whichever girl, right? He would use the same photos. Oh, he'd always say he would got hurt. He had these pictures of him like with a cut and a bruise and his bodyguard, which is actually his friend, with like a cut and a bruise. And he would send it to them and be like, we were chased by my enemies. He's always talking about his enemies. He's like, my enemies are after me, my enemies. And then, and then he would say like, uh, you know, all this different stuff. And, uh, and these poor girls fell for it and I felt so bad for them. But here's, and here- then I'm not finished. <laughs> Then these girls started swindling the Tinder swindler. No. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So this one girl, these two of the girls are like, they were, these girls were like upset and they were like, yeah. you know, crying. And this one girl, she's such a badass. And she was like, he took all my money. And she goes, and that's when I decided I'm swindling the Tinder swindler. So then he bought all this designer clothes. Like he only wore designer, that's so right? Sick. So then she, this guy would text her, be like, I need money, I need money. Cause he's like starting to run out of the money from the other girls. And she'd be like, well, you know, she's like, give me the designer clothes you bought. I'll sell them online for you and I'll get you the money, 
right? right? I'll give you the money. So he would then, she went to his house and picked up all his designer clothes, his shoes, his wallets. And she like kept pretending, she's like, I love you, babe. I'm doing this for you. I'll, I'll sell this all for you and I'll transfer you the money. <laughs> Took it all home, started selling it. He was like, where's my money? She's like, I don't know. Like she stopped replying to his text. And while she was doing the interview on the on this Netflix show, she was like, oh, look, his shoes just sold. Oh, another thousand dollars for me. Like it was amazing. She still didn't make up as much as she lost, but like, so wait, hold on, hold good on. For her. So she knows all these people are getting swindled, right. so he can buy designer clothes. She found out. Then she swindled. takes all of those designer clothes from the money of the women that were taken advantage no, of and sells it for herself. So, so no. So the way it worked is he he only wore designer. He had for years. He'd, like these are clothes he'd had for years that he'd been like taken from other people. Some of it was like gifted. right. It's from right. other people. Right. So what I'm saying is, is she's stealing from him, but really all of that money well, is from all the people well, that no, he robbed. Because he'd already taken, he it didn't even make up a third of like the amount that he'd already taken from this woman. Oh, okay. So she's not flush yet. No. Oh, no. Okay. Not at all. all right. Yeah. That's, that's the question I was like, going to ask. Fuck this guy. If he's swindling me, I'm going to swindle him. And she went and took all his designer clothes and started selling I them online. I love that. That's so bad. And like, was, and then he was messaging yeah. her, being like, you, like, you bitch, like my that's enemies it. are going to come after you now. Like he loves talking about fucking enemies. And she was just like, eh, and was like selling his she was like, okay. shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bring out the enemies. That's amazing. It so this is a documentary wild. on Netflix? Yeah, watch it. It's